welcome 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 back to my channel everyone greetings and salutations welcome again i'm your boy jack coming to you from kingston jamaica with another review so today's review um i woke up this morning and i i was puzzled or i was confused as to what i want to get done in terms of a review and my scent of the day actually inspired this review right now so i chose to wear um, a fragrance it's a original creation from the house of dua fragrances and um it is called hold on this one is called vanilla lemon gelato and this is a 10 ml i got from my friend kevin and i must say i really do like this one it's not a banger but i do like this one so i decided i was going to do a top 10 dua fragrances within my collection I haven't tried a lot of Dua, but I think I tried pretty much a good amount to make my assumption or basically to just come up with this thing, alright? So, before I get into my list, let me say to you guys, if you guys can guess, um, I won't even say it because it's not like there will be a reward. I just want you guys to guess what my number one favorite Dua fragrance is before you watch this video all the way to the end okay so leave a comment down below what are your top 10 from the house and what is my number one from the house okay so let me get straight into my video the first is going to be a honorable mention and it is the conqueror this is a old presentation look at the cap the bottle this wow this is one of the strongest fragrances within my collection. This is Dua's take on Serge of Alexandra II. This, you get a lot of lavender in this one. You get agarwood, rose, you get some sandalwood in this one and some vanilla as well. There are a lot of other notes, but these, those are the ones that stand out, to, that stood out to me in this fragrance. Wow. The Conqueror, perfect perfect fragrance i believe i wore this one when brazil was playing that much because i'm a huge brazil friend this super strong beastly fragrance i haven't been hearing much about this fragrance but trust me this one deserves to get the praise within your collection so honorable mention is the conqueror number 10 from the house is Vala and this is their newer presentation bottles. I really do dig these. This one is Dua's version of Bodacia Valiant. I had a sample of Valiant and this one is spot on with Valiant, I must say. This I get like some juicy um, orange and bergamot in this one. Patchouli, wow. florals, this is just really really good it is luxurious this is not something that you would basically wear to a bar or anything you would wear this one dress up or even dress down as well but this is a more luxurious feel type of scent voila all right my number 10 my number nine is one of my most recent reviewed fragrance it is poseidon elixir mod 3 this is a beautiful rendition of Aventus. It has this musky, sweet, vanillic type Aventus. Perfect. I really do like this fragrance, but it's far up because I love a lot of fragrances more than I do this one. As a matter of fact, this is new in my collection, so um, I think I need to give this one a lot more wearings to basically um, place it higher up on the list. This, number nine mod three this oh this one is getting a lot of hype in fragcom i must say and it deserves all the hype and the praise all right so my number eight is gonna be italiano this is only my number eight for one reason it is not as close as i wanted it to be to italica this Casanomati Italica inspiration from the House of Doha, Italiano. This, the performance, the projection, 
the sledge on this one, everything is on point. The only thing that's lacking in this fragrance is that thick, rich milk creaminess. This is more of a buttered almond cookie sprinkled with some sugar on top, all right? So this is my number eight. My number seven is going to be underground and this one is their take on Zerge of Cambridge. Wait, I am, I just discovered or I just realized a pattern right now. Most of my favorites are from the house, are inspired from the house of Zerjov. Wow. Hint, hint. So, this one is my number seven, guys, Underground and their take on Cambridge. This one, to me, it reminds me or it gives this feel of Zerjov more than words mixed with Montal's Intense Cafe. You get some rose in this one. Oh, you get some coffee. You get some coffee in this one as well. This is really, really nice. And some vanilla in this as well. So this is my number seven. And this one is a B. So you need to go light on the trigger with this one. If you are going in the office, please go light. If you are going outside, to hell with the amount of sprays you want to apply. Perfect. Next which is my number six and this one is from the house it's called heritage this is their rendition of a spirit of dubai to fragrance i got a sample of spirit of dubai to and i must say that it is close however to me to is more richer or well composed than this one but the dry down both of them neck to neck the performance on this one rivals throughout as well this is superb this is beastly indoors go light on the trigger outdoors to hell with the sprays again i'm going to show you guys a video of me over spraying on this one i believe i went 20 sprays because i was working outdoor and i was surprised that i literally got two compliments i was mad shocked i was expecting it to choke out persons but it wasn't it was just beautiful it was perfect this has over 40 notes there are some woody aspect in this one oud some floral some sweetness this is just a beautiful concoction concoction guys this is my number six here oh let me show you guys quickly the video of me over spraying and please don't bash me all right check it out scent of the day i'm gonna show you guys when i say 20 sprays what i mean all right look <laughs> so um, I hope you guys please don't bash me or anything I just wanted to try and see if I can go 20 or probably more and how persons would react but it was received positively so thumbs up to that one my number five is Poseidon in the Caribbean and this is a hybrid of Creed Aventus and um, Creed's Virgin Island Water this this could easily be my number one as well given that i smelled this one second hand my girlfriend wore this one a couple times and i must say three sprays is all she applied because she has um i believe she has sinusitis and when she wears strong fragrances it might trigger asthma or something but this one perfect the projection the performance the longevity i was amazed at this one it lasted a couple days in her shirt the entire house was illuminated with this scent perfect pineapple like this coconut it is just perfectly blended i can't stress this one enough this is my number five from the house and it is worthy of being number five or even number one so my number four is that some more and this is their rendition of Zerjaf Begum I remember the day this one was released I re I believe it was a day before I finished the sample of Begum I had and I was devastated I was like whoa 
how will I get a bottle of Big Um when this one ranges over 500 US for a bottle, which is 100 ml? Dua, or Masam himself, made a post releasing this fragrance. The plaque at the front is just beautiful, it's just eye catching. The aesthetics of this one, on point, I was in love. That's a more. I had to get the bottle and here it is in my collection this one floral vanilla some berries this is just perfect and this one is my number four for a reason the performance longevity complement factors everything and look at how much juice I've used out of this one already Whew. my number three is going to be Casino Elixir and this one is my third mostly complimented Dua fragrance in my collection This is their take on Cassino. This is their take on Baccarat Rouge 540 and Aventus Perfect balance between both worlds this You get a lot of the pineapple in this one mixed with the sweetness of the 540 and the performance the longevity The complement factor on this one is just perfect. I believe over five compliments with this one I can't stress this one enough as well. Everything with Aventus and 540, I tend to love. And persons tend to love it as well. It is well received. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. So here is my number three from the house. The distribution on these, on these atomizers. Should I spray this one? No. Let me spray something further down on the list, which is my... <laughs> Honorable mention, look at the distribution. This is a old presentation. Let me spray a newer one now. Wow. Whew. It is very wide and well pronounced. Wow. Voila. So, my number two from the house is Aphrodisiac. And this one is their take on Initio psychedelic love the name itself is self-explanatory aphrodisiac vanilla it is a pungent vanilla scent very prominent florals it has this the sweetness in this one is just perfect heliotrope this one every time i wear this fragrance women go bizarre i wore this one to class and I was assaulted by two females at the back. Even the lecturer was begging them to leave me alone. And I believe I mentioned this already. One of them asked, because it was Spanish class at the time, one of them asked the lecturer, Miss, how can you say he smells so good in Spanish? And the lecturer laughed. This one is my number two from the house. <sighs> no for my number one and i hope each and every one of you guessed it correctly uh i hope you guys guessed it correctly so now let me not keep you guys waiting and let me just do a drum roll my number one favorite fragrance from the house of dua fragrance is scrumptious and this one is their rendition of roja dove's sweetie Aoud. I am in love with this fragrance. I was in love, I still am in love with the original, this one as well, and I will not be without either one of them. This, the only difference with this and the original is that this one, it has a more prominent woodsy opening that I tend to not really appreciate much until like a couple of minutes into the fragrance. It dries down perfectly. It's good at macaron. That the oud is not as prominent in the fragrance as I would have think. But let me say, perfect concussion, perfect chemical X. Masam, you created something right here that many persons do love. I got over nine compliments wearing this fragrance to work. The performance, beastly projection, over ten feet with this fragrance. Quite a few of these goes over 10 feet, but this one is the one I'm talking about right now. Complement factor, performance, longevity, even in 
the clothing. This one lasts a couple days well. Heritage, however, lasts weeks. Weeks, I must say. But this one is the one that is my number one from the house. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below. Like this video, share this video, and please guys, get the, get the subscription up. Also, click the, notifi click the notification bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Okay? So I'm your boy Jack coming to you from Kingston, Jamaica again. I am out. Stay safe.